Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. I was on my way to film my Weight Watchers update and a bunch of other videos. Today is Sunday and realized that I said I was going to do a curio cabinet tour and didn't do it. So I actually filmed it already earlier. So it's going to look like I'm wearing different clothes, but that's okay. So this is the intro. I'm basically going to give you a tour of my curio cabinet. Okay, so here's the curio cabinet and the inside needs to be dusted. Um, this is an antique furniture that used to belong to Scott's grandmother and we brought it back from Ohio um, about two years ago, I'm not sure, when I moved all the furniture over. And uh, it's uh, pretty old, I think it's uh, probably 1910, maybe 1920, and it's, uh, it's full, <laughs> but I'm still, you know, putting stuff in there. So. I'm just gonna go from the top and show you what I got in there. Don't mind the dust, okay? Because this is not hermetic, so this still is dust that accumulates. I would have to entirely empty it. So we're gonna go um, through the whole thing. Let me see if I can do a better color balance first. I think that's better. Okay, so if you uh, like my channel and you've watched my channel for a while, you know I like to collect old stuff and I'm also very sentimental and pretty much keep everything, okay? Um, and it's a problem, we all know, so I'm just giving you a quick tour um, before I go item by item. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can without rambling too long. Um, so we're gonna start with the top. Um, okay, so over there in the back, uh, you I'm not going to pull them out, okay? Um, this is a pre-Victorian ginger jar. And um, so the top is silver, and you can see that the top is in dire need of uh, polishing. It's got this beautiful handle, and this is like a jade um, glass that has been hand-painted. Um, so that goes all the way in the back, and this thing here actually... Um, belonged to Scott's grandmother and she knew that I absolutely loved it and made sure that it would come to me actually when uh, after she passed. So we got a old handkerchief here. Um, I'm not sure who it belongs to but it's an old handkerchief. This is a pottery from France that's hand painted and that one actually I purchased at the garage sale for really really cheap and then this here is a Baccarat perfume bottle that belonged to my grandmother this here is very old um, this is a mustard pot to which we've lost the little jar and that one is from Rouen and you see the design here I'm going to show you I'm going to cut and show you something else that's going to repeat that design. And here we go. This is a painting that my mom did um, before she got married. And she got married in 1960. So that is the same design here. She had that pot, but kind of like change it to make it a little bit wider so she could make it more like a flower vase. But that's basically the pot. Right, so you see? Okay, same design. All right, in the back I have the kids' favorites. Um, toys when they were kids. kid. These are the uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. This is a Victorian bread basket that is um, hand painted. It's cobalt blue and then the uh, basket itself is uh, sterling silver. And then what else do I have here? Okay so this belonged to my um, father. That's a uh, what do you call it? Uh, lead um, airplane. Um, these are rocks from my house in Normandy. That's Edward's uh, Boy Scout stuff. This was my governor's bell when I was a little girl. Um, my mom had a governess at the house and then when you needed her to come over um, to a particular room, you would ring the bell and I've had it for a long time too. Um, these are just Waterford bells. Um, this is my um, com communion cross and that's from the little singers of the wooden cross from France. They kind of like the uh, um, a choir group um, from Catholic Church. All right, we got kids, kids teeth, we don't need to see that. These are uh, French Limoges. They're very very old and there's a story behind it. The stem says the Etruscan vase. That was a store by the Louvre Museum um, a long time ago and it's been closed for, I don't know for 40-50 years and my mom had purchased those at their place. 
and in the back even though it has the stamp from the store it is Limoges and the story here is that I had contacted Limoges and asked them if they recognized the pattern and they told me it was called burnt orange okay over here you probably can see it too much um, I have my great great grandma's napkin ring um, actually it's my great great grandfather hold on right here and I have his initials on it uh, where is it was it right here okay so that's that and then that thing here is from um, Herend the I think it's Romanian this is a planter that was um, made to commemorate the centennial of the crowning of Napoleon as an emperor so this is from 1904 and that belonged to my grandma this is uh, Scott's Gucci watch that he purchased when he was in Singapore. This is a, a gift, you know, like baby's first Christmas Waterford thing. And this here, okay, so that's Scott's step-grandfather when he was in the Navy. And then this here belonged to my grandmother, and that is a Baccarat um, crystal trinket box. And it actually comes on top of a uh, basket. You see the uh, silver work on it? Okay, so the basket, it's been broken over the years, see that? Okay, so this is sterling silver. Here's another one that needs to be clean. Um, but that, she used it actually, um, oh, where did she have it? She had it in a mantle at the house and she used to put uh, potpourri and dry flowers, petals, things like that in it. So that's that. And then here we have a decorative plate um, that's also a basket, you know, a bread basket. That's a Victorian one. This is actually hand painted. It's not um, a transfer. And you see the price on it, it says $75. Yes, yeah, Scott's great-grandmother. She had an antique shop. So that was $75 when she was selling that back in the 70s. And then this is a Capa di Monte. Um, you can't see it very well. Can you see it? Okay, this is just like a uh, uh, one of those bird sculpture. The mug in the back is Scott's uh, USS Independence. These two things here are from my mom when she was in medical school. These actually were for um, chloroform and when you were doing anesthesia back in the days you would put the chloroform in there and there would be a tube and a mask and you would know exactly how much chloroform the person has inhaled before they um, fell asleep for anesthesia. So that is really, really, really old. That picture right here is a Baccarat that was um, a gift to my mother for her, I believe, 25th wedding anniversary. So that's that. And then this is my great great grandmother's um, I don't know if it's a dolly or a napkin but it has her initials on it right here okay Eleonora was the first name um, anyway so this is a Steuben glass bowl that belonged to grandma I'm gonna remove the bullet because you guys don't need to see that um, that these here are flowers from Alaska. I have two of them. These were made by my mother-in-law and gifted to my um, husband's grandmother. This is, that belongs to my dad. This is a um, gold bar that's actually a lighter and it doesn't work because there's no fuel in it. And that is my father's um, gold mouthpiece for his saxophone and Edward for some reason will not use it because he's afraid he's going to break it and then these here are lead soldiers you see Napoleon with his generals and one of them lost his head if I could find the head it's somewhere in there it fell I just gotta find it okay where is the head can't find it oh it's right here okay these were um, restored by my brother actually Okay, I gotta glue it back. They're very, very fragile. Um, he bought them and then they were kind of damaged and he repainted them a long time ago. So that's that. Um, this is my Club Med um, old participation, whatever, membership thing, but that's for the um, horseback riding one. This is my grandma's. It used to contain um, a terrain and um, We've had it for years and my mom used it as a salt cellar, but I don't want to break it so it stays here. 
This is my grandfather's key holder. Um, that comes from Poland, actually. And that same thing, I'm not putting it in the house. It stays in here. These belong to the house we used to have in the south of France. That was part of the chandelier. There's a bowl right here. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of it. I have three pieces in that design. Those are bought on eBay, and here they are. So I have the uh, uh, gravy boat, and I have um, this uh, compote. I can't remember the name of the company. It's very old. This is from, I think, 1865. Eventually, the company is from England. That's when they started doing the chinoiserie um, design. And it was eventually bought by Johnson Brothers back in the beginning of the 1900. So I can't remember the name of it. It's got a stamp, but no name, uh, just a number. If I remember it, I'll put it down. Um, you know, right here, you'll see it. Okay, um, that's Edward's rattle when he was a baby and Edward's um, little ball, you know, timbal. And then this is my egg cup, um, sterling silver egg cup when I was a little girl. And then this is my napkin ring when I was a little girl. This is Ed, um, this is Scott's um, sterling silver timbal thing when he was a kid. That's his fork and knife. And then these here, that's my, um, football when I was a little girl that's also sterling and that one has a little squirrel at the end and then these are a spoon and a um, fork that I had when I was a little girl this here is a little silver uh, thing that was actually given to me by my sister when we went to France and it contains um, not ashes it's land from its soil from a Polish family in um, Poland so she brought back some of the uh, uh, soil. That was grandma's, I'm not sure where she got it. Um, Tasty Freeze right here, that's a little toy gift that people used to get from the Tasty Freeze store. That was an ice cream store in Ohio and Scott's great grandmother used to own that store. These are souvenirs from Normandy uh, that we had bought for grandma years and years ago and uh, in 2003 actually. And um, after she passed, I guess I took them back. And that's a little noritake um, nut dish with a little bird. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, that I brought back from the house as well. And then, oh, these are Scott's um, dog tags when he was in the Navy. With an old family camera. I don't know much about it. This is an original um, blue willow. I only have a couple of pieces. There's an old book in the back. This one you've seen before. This is just stuff that I bought. Um, that's a little fane cup. I'm keeping this one because it's a demi tasse and the other one broke. This is an old um, cigarette holder. That's um, Mother of Pearl with, you know, diamond. And I think this is ebony actually. And then there's a Fenton. Um, over here that we had purchased as a gift to grandma and then again when she passed um, we took it back that's a plate that Edward decorated back in the days these here are called amps and they are the tops of flag holders they belong to my grandma and they are actually from Napoleon era so I have two. I have one that goes like this directly on the top and then the other one as a, uh, a bracket. So it's more for a banner. So these are very old. The brass, um, they're from Napoleon's time. So it's 1804, something like that. Okay, that is my most precious item. <laughs> my mom had a very, very good friend um, who passed away since. And when I was born, he gave her this. This is a music box and it plays the theme from Lara in um, Dr. Zhivago. So I'm going to see if I can turn it on. You hear it? Okay. And there's more uh, stones from the house in Normandy. There's an old silver coin here and a very, very old um, metal I can't remember where we got it, but it's one of those religious medals that you buy as a tourist. I have to finish the uh, music. All right, so, and here at the bottom, what do we have? We have a plate that was drawn by Willie uh, when he was in 2014, so that's uh, when he was seven. 
And then this is a milk glass um, compote. And then here I have family letters, um, which I think I've been through in a video a long time ago. So these are letters from Scott's parents to his um, grandmother. Uh, there's a, a mug here that was a gift. Um, over here are uh, tassels and my hat from when we graduated. More letters, books that used to belong, like little children's book that used to belong to Scott's dad. And then this is a family Bible that's really, really old. Hold on, let me pull this, okay. Pictures of family members. And this one has um, amazing illustrations in it, actually. And each one of them has a parchment um, paper in front of it. I don't want to move it too much because the spine is broken, so you see. Okay, so that's an old family Bible. And then this one right here <coughs> is the American soldier in the Civil War. And this is a very, very old book. I'm trying to be gentle with it. These are all engravings. See how damaged the book is? Okay. So it's all engravings and um, I'm not disassembling it. I thought about um, maybe getting some of them framed, but I think I want to keep the book the way it is, untouched. And then on the other side, we have um, another mug that was a gift and then another one of those milk glass compote and then more letters. And then these were letters from grandma to Scott's parents. And we're talking like, I think before they even got married, and they got married in 60, uh, 63, I think. Yeah, 63 or 64. So that's it. You see how damaged it is? Yeah. I got to be very careful with that Bible. And I think it had the uh, um, clasp here. All right, so I'm putting all of this back. And then I have old drawings by Scott, some homework from Scott. Um, and yeah, more letters. And memorabilia and again these are the old old books from my father-in-law when he was a little boy um, Christmas time in action so he was born in 1940 oh and it's a, a pop-up so it's pretty cool okay all right so that was it that was my career cabinet I hope you enjoyed it um, there's some old stuff in there and then this um, beginning of memorabilia for the family for our generation and then the kids generation um, obviously I have more in the basement that needs to be brought upstairs probably not in this curio it looks to me like I'm gonna have to get another one <laughs> um, nah I, I, I don't know <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you like my little tour subscribe if you are new and I will see you later I am off to go and film other videos. Bye! Thanks for watching!